Charles Darwin's origin of the species is very misguided. He failed to see the origin of all life as the heavens. Cosmic energy emanating from the heavens creates all earthly life. All human, animal, and plant life first materializes on the earth in roundish forms. From the initial round head of a human or animal, an earthly being comes into existence. In plants, the seed is impregnated with life from one cosmic constellation or another. The earth herself is the womb for all plant seeds. This is our Ratatouille tomato. And if you look closely at it, you'll notice there are multifarious forms. Every form that tends towards a circle is dominated by cosmic energy. Every form that tends towards a linear perspective is dominated by earthly energy. Most tomatoes, other than the cherry, are a combination of both forms of energy. So we have the genetics of the plant, we have earthly energy, and we have cosmic or heavenly energy. Here is a cherry tomato, perfectly round, and we know that's dominated by cosmic energy. This applies to all vegetables and fruits, not just tomatoes, but you can see it best in our tomatoes here. Here is a pear-shaped tomato. Here you have the combination of round and linear. Here is another ratatouille that is a combination of linear and round, but more round. That's cosmic energy mixing with earthly energy. Next, this is a ratatouille tending towards round, but mixing with earthly energy to become a combination of round and linear. It's not a perfect circle and it's not a perfect oblong. And here in our heart-shaped tomato you see again the top of it starts out linear, rounds off in the center and becomes pointed at the bottom. Charles Darwin's theory of evolution has had a huge impact on negating this reality from the consciousness of human beings. Darwin was 180 degrees wrong in his origin of the species. All life on earth comes from the heavens. I'm L.A. Roth Rain and this is a video about the Selkie Biodynamic Cherry Tomato Plant, also called the Evergreen Elm Biodynamic Cherry Tomato Plant going to see a seedling of the plant and what that little seedling can develop into if you use our seed in our system. For about 25 years I've been cultivating the seeds that produce these super plants that people liken to prehistoric monsters. They've actually referred to the plant as a monster. They usually grow about 12 foot high by 10 feet round and produce in excess of 2,000 tomatoes per plant. If you use our biodynamic seed and correctly build our organic tomato hill using old cow or horse manure and garbage. By garbage I mean table scraps, everything from pepperoni pizza to chicken wings. The plant will eat any part of a plant or animal and absorbs large quantities of energy from the heavens. It is only common sense to realize that electromagnetic interchanges between the earth and the stars and the planets affect plant life. These energies like sunspots and moon phases can be harvested by this plant and other plants to produce super seeds, fruits, and vegetables. Genetic engineering can never create a seed that produces plants like the Evergreen Elm Biodynamic Cherry Tomato Plant. If they could, they would, and it would be the poster child for the genetic engineering seed industry. For a free pack of seeds, just send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address on the screen.